welcome you to my channel in this video we will see ai prompts okay buzzing ai prompts we are creating one prompt building application also okay means we will give only the topic on the basis of that we will generate the different types of prompts okay so this is a new model okay if you see this is just launch okay currently in the march 2024 okay there are some of the documentation i have gone through okay and i have created one use case okay for all of you so here are different modules are present create text with gpt using prompt summarize text extract information from text classify text sentiment analysis and respond to complete these all are the pre built template and we can also use our own custom prompt okay so in this case let we use custom prompt okay so simply just click on this you can be able to create custom prompt okay so i already created one custom prompt okay so i simply just go and opening that custom prompt okay so to explain this prompt okay i have created one note okay to understand you okay so to give the any prompt to a chat gpt or any ai tool what we have to do we have to specify the role to that engine okay so i just given here role you are a prompt engineer okay what work you have to do i have given here you have to create a quality prompt okay and subject word count is 10 to 20 and the body word count is 100 to 120 words and generate five prompts okay here we will give the input which type of answer we are required okay like in this case i want to create to write a email okay i want to generate a different prompt so i just given here and output with the example i have given here okay output must in the json format like can be see the json format i have given here output okay so let's go simply you have written here okay and after that you can give your name to your prompt okay here you can create your input okay simply just click on the add input you can be easily create a input and then you can be add here okay we'll use this input from power apps okay through the canvas as well as model driven or through the power automate you can use anywhere this input and if you have to give the data to this okay you can also give output it is in two format text if you want in the text format you can give create in the text okay if you want in json format you can be create in json format as well okay so here i already given the output okay in the json format you can be see the schema of my format there are settings which model you have to use let we use gpt4 and accuracy let we set to the 9 okay and let's test how prompt here by simply clicking on the test prompt so you can be see a prompt is by the our prompt we will get an output okay so simply i save the saving this prompt okay so now let's go to the create and we will create one blank application okay this is the demo so that's why we are creating a blank application giving name prompt then writer simply we will give prompt type okay let's simply click on the create so we are added here okay i just creating one simple uh, header here okay 
or we will use pre-built screen share okay so here you can be see i just say use the new template okay from our app and uh, other screen is deleted now let's i go here okay and add one text input let's select the vertical container okay adding one horizontal container okay arranging this to the moving up the minimum height to the 75 turning off flexible height add here input okay text input Place it center. Okay. Let's add one button. Button is added. Making it in center. Okay. Selecting the container. Okay. And let's aligning this to the end. Okay. My text input is not visible, so I just go. Okay, so I want to make the background color of this to the white. I go and selecting the white color in the background so I can easily able to see my text input. Okay, so I just increase the flexible width and container set to the right, left, and right padding should be 25. 25 or set let's changing our gallery first what in our gallery we want we want only the subject and the header so other container less are deleting this turning on auto height of this label okay now let's uh, add our pre-built model okay so in the data first refresh our models search here Ravindra prompt so oh, successfully we are added here our model still the time i just change the name of this button to the jenna generate so here we will use our that prompt okay so let's i type the name ravindra jado prompt dot predict they are asking for the input okay so let's click go select our input copy this name go to the button control v dot value we close this okay now we are used set to store this output in a variable okay so gbl AI output. Let's close this. Save. Let's try it. Okay. So I just go in the play mode. Your email 
right formal email okay and simply just click on the general so here you can be see our output is generating it's taking some time our output is generated let's go select the gbl output okay what output we are getting we are getting the record okay it is finished okay so let's we use this okay for that i will just go in the tree view the screen inserting the label okay make it full screen okay show you the output okay gbl output dot text the output we are getting in the json format you can be able to see so how to use this in or gallery okay so for that you have to know some of the properties okay so this is untype object in json format so let's give our name ai gbl output dot text okay it is giving an error okay so expected table value but i received text okay so how to overcome this okay so we will parse this first parse we have parse json function let's close this so now we are getting this output in untype object so how to convert untype object by using table function we can be convert untype object into a table form so let's use table okay and let's close this so i just delete this okay you can see we have now five items okay so let's i change the subject okay static to the this item dot value dot subject and for the response item dot value dot body can be c friends okay we are successfully created a prompt application okay so let's uh, change the name of this application first okay that let's we change the header okay let's change this image as well okay so let's we add one image stock images we will use use one i like so you can be see our app is ready from generator application okay so here you can be get different prompts okay on according to your message okay we need that's all about friend if you have any question any doubt while generating this application you can message me in the comment box and also this application is available in my shop or platform community github and also on the my linkedin post okay all the links is available in the description box from there you can be just download
Okay, thank you, friends. Have a nice day.